back with another pour painting, acrylic pour painting. And I am gonna be doing the paper towel tube again because I love it, it's my favorite. All the paints I'm using today have been mixed with Floetrol and Liquitex, but no silicone in any of them. So I have this Artist Loft Burnt Umber, or Burnt Sienna, that I mixed with a little bit of this leftover brown. I don't even know what it is. And it looks a little like that. Can you see that? Then I have my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I have this turquoise, which I have mixed by itself. This one I mixed with a little bit of leftover green from my fall pours. This one I mixed with a little bit of this royal blue glitter paint. Let's see. This one I just mixed with a little white. I don't know if I said that. The gray one is going crazy. I don't know what his problem is. And this one is called Copper Pot. So, uh, let's see. I do also have this brown and this caramel color to use if I need to, but I think I'll be okay with the colors I have. Actually, that's not true. I'm gonna add a little bit of this brown in there somewhere. And let's see what happens. I'm gonna start with white. Actually, I'm gonna pour some white down like that. Then I'm gonna start with a little white. And then basically I'm just gonna layer all the colors in, no rhyme or reason. I really like this color. It's kind of rusty. This is a metallic. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm gonna finish it off with a little white. All right, are you ready? You ready? Go. Just gonna set this over here for a second. I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. I'm gonna move all my colors out of the way. torch it a little bit. Look at all those pretty cells coming through. All right. I'm going to put a little white around it so that it flows a little nicer. So let's see what happens. I 
I forgot to mention this is an 11 by 14 inch canvas. I don't want to lose all of this off the edge, so I'm just going to help with this along by covering some of this. I don't like that as much. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to see if my torch will work. It's not working very well, and I will... Okay, so my torch isn't working, but I think it'll be fine. I kind of see some cells popping up through without the help of the torch. I really like it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So here it is. You can see, hopefully, the cells popping up. Sorry about the dogs. They bark at everything. Whoops, focus, focus. I think it turned out really pretty. And I think my torch is just out of butane. I think my butane bottle is empty, so I'm gonna have to pick up some more. I love the veining right through here. That is so pretty. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of this one. I will come back in a day or two and show you what it looks like when it's nearly dry.
Here it is a couple of days later and I apologize for the dishwasher in the background, but I really still love this. I think it's so pretty. I love the colors together. I can get you in really close. Look, it looks like bubbles. Look at this part. This looks so cool. I love this technique. I think the, well, the few paintings I've done with it have turned out so cool. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also, if you're only interested in the painting videos, I am slowly uploading them to another YouTube channel. Um, they're still going to be here, but I'm going to put them over there as well, and it's called Artful Lee, and I will leave a link in the description box below. I only have a few of the videos up so far, but I'm working on getting them all up. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, please. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.